Stocks rallying to finish out the week after a stronger than expected July jobs report. We are currently on record close watch now for the Dow and on record close watch for the S&P 500. The Nasdaq is underperforming down about half a percent. Delano, your your gut reaction to the jobs report, did it, did it make you want to go back into the, the cyclical value plays as we're seeing in the market today working? Hi, Sarah. Thank you for having me on again. You know, it, the best is reacting to a stronger than expected jobs report. So as, as we saw, we saw an economy that was still growing, and that's how you see the cyclicals rise here. Financials doing well, energy doing well. And those positions I'm still holding and I still believe in, uh, but there's still things on the horizon that I want to watch to see if you want to shift more into those areas, right? We're still seeing uh, a resurgence of COVID through the variants, uh, the Delta variant. There's other things that the Fed, the commentary the Fed has stated, uh, sticking the course on their strategy so far uh, as to why investors can still have portfolio that's well diversified uh, to be in both areas of the market. Chris, what about you? Uh, financials obviously getting a big boost. Do I need now to rethink about the way I'm viewing the market from here forward, given where rates are, where the economy appears to be, even in light of what's happening with the Delta variant? Yeah, I think you do. And we wrote earlier this week, the growth scare has already happened. And I think it's now a very consensus in the overall call. And kind of what we've been noticing these last, let's call it two or three weeks, is under the surface, a lot of the ratios that we look at for evidence of cyclicality have started to perk back up. Discretionary has improved, home builders have firmed, semiconductors. So I think there's been some evidence the last two weeks. And then when you look at how the bond market responded to Wednesday's awful ADP number, we tested 112 came right back to that 120 neighborhood. The fact that you couldn't make a new low in bond yield on the week data on Wednesday and then the follow through today, I think is suggestive of this market telling us the growth scare has come and gone. It's time to get more cyclical here again.